sector shakeup in Silicon Valley this weekend. Ellen Powell forced to resign after a very nasty and very public revolt by Reddit users. She was the interim CEO for a short time. You know, Reddit is one of the most trafficked sites on the internet. Lots of sites like BuzzFeed and many others get story ideas from Reddit, but some have also called it the man cave of the internet. That's because out of the 160 million monthly users, close to 120 million of them are male, many young men. And now many are wondering if this is another instance of sexism at play in Silicon Valley, or was she just simply the wrong person for the job? It's a complex story, and here to break it down is Sarah Lacey, the founder and editor of the tech news site Pando Daily. Sarah, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. What really happened in this case? Because when I've looked at the message boards on Reddit, all of the conversations, some of the chatter about the CEO, it was disgusting. The misogyny that was directed at her. Is that ultimately what, what ended her role as CEO? Look, I think her role as CEO was doomed from the moment when she came in, starting with calling her interim CEO. Um, Reddit is a weird beast. It's hard to <laughs> say, say anything that about Reddit is 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 you know is indicative of silicon valley writ large i mean it was mm. a company that was acquired by Condé Nast. It was seen as the failure compared to Dig, you know, 10 years ago. And it was kind of left for dead and continued to grow. And it grew because of these unpaid moderators who essentially run the site. I mean, Ellen Powell had no control over whether or not the site was shut down. When this whole revolt started a few weeks, moderators were shutting down threads. I mean, it not only wasn't an issue where she didn't understand the community, and a lot of the community, frankly, wasn't ever going to like her, because she was an Asian woman, but she didn't understand the community. She didn't understand how to put something up on the site that wouldn't get voted down. But she, let's these, underscore these weren't that. even people because that worked for Asian her woman, that she could she, fire. She was going to be rejected by the community? I mean, what kind of community is that? Parts then? of the community parts of the community. I mean, and look, it's possible if she had been running this site and she had the thickest skin in the world and was super devoted to free speech, then she could have handled it. But this is someone who just brought the most high profile gender discrimination we've seen in Silicon Valley in decades. And it was mostly a suit about the unfairness of micro indignities that women suffer. This is not someone who thought it's acceptable to be a woman in the world and see that kind of hate and misogyny lobbed at her. It was just not a mm. good fit. And the arrogance of the board to think, oh, this is a great site that the community has built, 170 million people, less than 80 people working there. Let's give wow. it a half a billion dollar valuation and turn it into an ad platform. It was reckless arrogant. It was never going to work. And anyone like Ellen Powell going into that role was going to fail. When we see these stories, uh, what I wonder is whether the invective that we see on the internet, the hate, the hatefulness and the misogyny, whether it's getting worse and whether it's possible to make it better. As a prominent female journalist in the Valley, is it getting worse and can it be made any better? What's the solution here? You know, part of this is just human nature, and I really don't think the Reddit right. story is a story about Silicon Valley. I think it's a story about the Internet. I mean, the people who are lobbying mm. hate at her aren't gatekeepers in Silicon Valley. They weren't her former partners at Kleiner Perkins. This is a different story. And to some degree, there always is going to be that addressed at women. I guarantee you, when I get off the air with you now, I will have ads on Twitter and emails in my inbox that are never things you would get from appearing on TV for a few minutes on Sunday morning. On the other hand, I do think culture is starting to change and I think Reddit is a little bit of the throwback to the early 2000s when it was seen to be okay to bully women. I think things went so far in Gamergate and a lot of other um, controversies over the last year that actually the public at large has lost a lot of appetite and taste for this. You look at even sites like Gawker, they attack women less than they did six months ago. So I think some of it is changing but there is always going to be this basement underground cesspool to the internet the way there is in humanity and in real life. And I think if we try to shut it down on Reddit, it's going to go somewhere else. It's just unfortunately so, human nature. If there's always going to be that cesspool, I suppose the answer is to be better about knowing where it is, being better about knowing how to avoid it, having better tools to manage some of that nastiness. Uh, Sarah, thanks for being here. Right, I appreciate the time And don't think today. it's going to become a billion dollar ad business because it's not. <laughs> that is probably the crucial detail, isn't it? Uh, thanks for being here.